We got a lot of news on the arena front today, or prospectively even more news, with the governor getting engaged in the discussions later today. Can you give us the latest, Don? Is today the day, or are we close to the day? Well, it is a big day for the Bucks. They, of course, have a playoff game tonight, but uh, more to the point on the arena financing, in a matter of hours, uh, Governor Walker will convene a meeting of, of really A-lister elected officials, Mayor Barrett, uh, County Executive Chris Abley, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, and Senate Majority Scott Fitzgerald, as well as uh, the M Milwaukee Bucks, last but not least, uh, Bucks President Peter Fagan. I'd be a little surprised if we have an announcement today, and I say that only because of the complexity of the matter. There's an awful lot of turf to go over, lots of issues to discuss, but what I'm being told is really the purpose of today's meeting is, is to hear the governor tell the city and the county, this is what we're doing on the legislative side of things. What is it specifically that the county and the city can do to complete this package and get this arena yeah. built. Well, one of the complexities we're dealing with, of course, is the level of public support for whatever they do. And about two weeks ago, we had a poll from Marquette Law School which showed on a particular proposal from the state, something like 70% opposed. And now we'll put on the screen a couple numbers from a poll this week, which give a very different picture. This was from the Association of Commerce poll. And their respondents were asked, is it better for Wisconsin if the bucks stay or leave? And 64% came down as stay. And if on a more general question of support or oppose a new arena, there are 67% who supported it. So, Don, who do we believe here? What's going on with these polls and how the questions were framed? Well, I think if you look at the polls, and first with the Marquette poll, perhaps you might conclude that maybe it wasn't specific enough, and so uh, it guaranteed maybe a negative outcome in terms of people responding to it. On the flip side, the MMAC poll was really front-loaded with a lot of preparatory sort of explanations saying this is how the uh, arena financing plan will come together. It looks like it's something that could do a lot of good for downtown Milwaukee, so what do you think? So you have to sort of wade through that. Um, legislators that I've talked to said neither poll necessarily changed their mind. But obviously, I think the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce poll was all about changing hearts and minds and maybe the conversation to try to convince people that this is a good thing. Well, let's bring in Jason Stein now from Madison. And, and Jason, I mean, some of the most important constituents now are those state lawmakers. Have you noticed any change in their views on, on state support, or is their line kind of drawn and it's more of a local issue here for what the city and county can and will do? Well, look, I mean, I think you, you have to look at it from the standpoint that leadership, uh, both uh, Democratic and, and Republican, I think, would like to see something happen. Um, you know, they, no one wants to be cast as, as the party that lost a professional sports team for the state, uh, particularly when it's, when it's doing a little better than it has been. But at the same time, there's also a lot of skepticism from, you know, outstate lawmakers, people that represent voters far away from Milwaukee to say, we, the taxpayers of Wisconsin, are going to, uh, you know, assume risks, provide money for, you know, a team that is, again, you know, hours away in many cases from lawmakers in their districts and um, is is owned by billionaires as well. Yeah, well one difference I think at least in the tone and, and Don you would remember this from the uh, the Miller Park debate I mean at that time we had uh, uh, Tommy Thompson with this sort of the infamous ticket to Milwaukee comment out there and just as we had Walker saying no this is an issue everyone should care about the future of the box. Yeah, he uh, played one card, I think, yesterday that was very important, Governor Walker, that, that is. And he was clearly reaching out to the people who live upstate. He said, hey, you should be paying attention to the fact that if this doesn't happen, not only do you lose some revenue from these NBA players who pay these income taxes when they play here in Milwaukee, but don't forget the fact that we're stuck with the Bradley Center. And if the Bradley Center is to stay and there's no new arena, uh, Governor Walker reminded everyone the state is on the hook for perhaps as much as $100 million or more in needed renovations over the next, say, five or ten years. 
making the case that that's maybe something the taxpayer would not want to have. So why not make this investment in his eyes toward a new arena? Yeah. Well, let me ask this question of both of you, starting with Jason. So if you had to name one, you know, so what's the biggest impediment either in, in terms of an issue or a person or an entity? Who, who do you think is the holdup right now in, in closing this, this financial picture to get, get the, the final agreement in place? Jason, well, what do you think? The, the holdup is the money. You know, the holdup is the money. Everyone here is trying to position themselves as, as best as possible. I, at the end of the day, look, I mean, I think you you do not you have not seen in in years um, Democrats and Republicans at this high level meeting in person to try and solve any issue, any issue at all um, in, in years, really. So I, I don't really see anyone holding this up. I see people of both parties trying to thread a needle that is very, very difficult to do. Well, Don, do you have a take on that? I mean, the governor is engaged now. We've heard everybody's cards are kind of on the table except the county. I mean, what, what do you expect the county could or would do to help you know, close that gap? Well, what I'm being told is uh, County Executive Chris Abley has a couple of options here. One, he's got the land. He's got the Park East Corridor that holds the potential for all this additional development the Bucks hope one day will come to fruition. Secondly, I know he's been talking, and it's, I have been reporting this, that he has been talking to the Wisconsin Center District. Uh, for those not familiar with that district, that's the Convention Center and the Milwaukee Theater and the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. That outfit controls four separate taxes that are collected now that are used for debt service on those buildings. I think Chris Abley is thinking, is there a way to tap into that and provide some additional capital that could be diverted toward the arena? It's a talking point. It may not necessarily fly with Republican legislators, but I think Jason is right. The, the money issue is tops. And, and I asked Governor Walker yesterday, flat out, well, what about the owners? Are they prepared to put in more money, perhaps? Sources tell me the bucks are not budging beyond their $150 million commitment, but we'll see.